Today I want to show you a really cool SEO keyword value calculator. This is really good for being able to see the value of potential keywords or even a group of keywords that you may consider going after. But if you are offering SEO services to clients, this is a great way to also use this calculator to base your SEO prices on, to demonstrate why you are worth the prices that you are charging because you're basing that on actual data of what you can achieve for a client. And overall, this calculator can actually make for a really good sales tool. And I'll link below to where you can get a free copy of this calculator so you can use this in your business. Now, there are many aspects to building and growing a profitable website, but especially when you are doing so for clients, it's really important that you are able to demonstrate your value, of course, in order for them to be willing to hire you, but also for them to continue to pay you on an ongoing basis because you are demonstrating that value. So I want to make sure that you have the tools in place to be able to do that easily, because this is going to be how you can show the positive impact you are having on a business. Now, previously here, I did share an agency ROI calculator to help you demonstrate what you can do for a business financially. So I'll link to that below in case you are interested. But today I want to show you this SEO keyword value calculator, which you can use to better demonstrate true revenue potential for a client's business. Now, there are three things that you want to make sure that you are doing before the sale and as you are working with the client. The very first thing is you need to know what is it that the business actually wants to achieve? What is the outcome that they are hoping for in your work together? And this is crucial for you to know, to take the time to have that discussion with the business owner to get to the bottom of, because then you're able to turn to the calculator and say, is that possible? You're not just throwing out empty promises. You're not worried, am I actually going to be able to deliver this? You're going to look at what is realistically possible for this business. That way you can say, yes, it looks like we can actually do exactly what it is that you're looking for. Perhaps we could do a little more than what you're looking for. The outcome could hopefully be even better. Or you know what? We got to look at what a more realistic picture is of what the results are that we can get together and it might be lower than what the business is looking for, but again, you're basing it on data, and that doesn't mean that you're gonna lose out on that client because you're using actual data to back it up. They appreciate you being realistic and not just giving empty promises. Now, the second thing is that you gotta demonstrate your value. You can't just say, yes, we can do it. You wanna back that up with something, and that's where you can use the agency ROI calculator that I mentioned and I linked below, and you can also use the calculator here that I'm gonna show you today. The third thing that you want to do is you want to track SEO KPIs. You don't want to track all of the possible SEO KPIs. It's too much for you to track. It's too much for the clients to actually understand, to go through. So you want to make sure that you are focusing on the key ones. This is how you track and measure what you are doing to see if you're actually delivering the expected results. So if you're not sure which SEO KPIs to track, I have a whole video on that, which I will link to down below as well. And in that video, I also share a free SEO reporting template that you can use in your business for your clients as well. So now let's take a look at the SEO value calculator here. Now this is all based on keyword positioning. So obviously the higher that you can rank for a particular keyword, the more money that you are going to get. And this is going to let you estimate this, but this also is gonna be calculating one keyword at a time. You can also take the data from a group of keywords that you're going to be going after as well. That is where the revenue really starts to ramp up here. So let's take a look at this spreadsheet calculator here and let's go through what you are seeing here. There's really only a few numbers that you're going to have to put in. So everything down here at the bottom, this is based on your ranking position here and you don't have to fill anything out. This is automatically going to calculate for you. Now, based on the ranking position, if you are in position one, you are on average going to get a 39.8% click-through rate of anyone who looks for that particular keyword. That is going to lead to a certain number of visitors per day, which is going to result in a number of leads per day, With and that in turn is going to result in a certain number of sales, 
which then is going to impact how much revenue per day, uh, per month, and so forth that the business should expect based on that keyword or group of keywords. So that is gonna automatically calculate for you based on these top numbers up here. So let's say you go do some keyword research and you determine that the keyword that you're going after has a daily keyword search volume of 5,000. And you have a product or a service that is valued at $500. So when you get an actual customer into the business, they are spending $500. So this might just be a one-time service. This could be a lifetime valued. It just depends on the type of business that you are or that you're working with here. Then you wanna look at profit margin, lead conversion, sales conversion. Now, these are going to be dependent on the actual business. So you'd have to speak to the business to come up with these numbers. If the business doesn't know what these numbers are, that they'll know their profit margin, but they might not know the lead conversion, sales conversions. Then we got to figure that out. So we can start with these numbers. We can even start a little bit lower and then we can go for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days and see how these numbers actually turn out during that time. And we are gonna work to increase those numbers. Of course, the more you can increase across the different categories, the more money that this is going to make. So if a product, let's say, let's say a service costs $500, but the business makes a 50% profit on that, they're going to make $250 from that particular sale. Now we have to see of 5,000 people who are coming in, that's going to lead them to, if they are ranking in position number one, uh, almost 2,000 site visitors per day that are coming in. And if we can get 5% of those to turn into leads out of that nearly 2,000, you are gonna get 100 leads per day. So that gives you 100 potential leads per day coming in. And now how many of those leads can the business take and turn into sales? Now, you as the digital marketer may have some uh, say or some uh, some impact that you can have in increasing the sales conversion number. And that really depends. If somebody lands on the website and they're directed to just call and, and actually speak with somebody in the business, well, they really are the ones who have to convert it. But if you are getting them to opt in and go ahead and schedule or book something online or to pay for something online, you're gonna have more influence on that in your work. So that could vary here as well. Uh, and then this is automatically gonna calculate based on these numbers that you've put in, this is how much a single visitor is worth. So of those 1,990 visitors that come in per day, each one of those is worth 50 cents. Uh, based on your conversion rate numbers here. So what you are going to want to do is go over to SEMrush or any keyword research tool that you are using, and you'll want to put in your keyword. And uh, here we're all going to use the keyword overview tool here, but really developing a strategy, coming up with a group of keywords. I'm going to be using the keyword magic tool, and I cover that in the SEMrush tutorial if that's something that you're interested in exactly how to do that and how to get a whole group of keywords. But if I'm just using this single keyword here, I can see it has a volume of 720 in the US. If the keyword you're going after, the target audience you're going after is global, well, you can go ahead and take that global keyword here or, or that global search volume here. But here, if we are only targeting one specific country, that's 720, what I can do is in a calculator here, since that is a monthly search volume, we need daily, I can pop that in, divide it by 30, and that gives me 24 searches per day. So then if we put in, well, there's only 24 searches per day, we'll see that really drops our numbers here. So that's where we have to look at, is this going to be profitable enough? But Typically, when you have, let's say, a, a local service or something, let's say the lifetime value is 700, let's say their profit margin is 60%, but they're able to convert, let's say, 20%. See, uh, the numbers will start to shift, the value will start to shift as these come up. Um, but ideally, this isn't really about having a single keyword. This is about having a group of keywords. So over in SEMrush, that's where I'm using that keyword magic tool to help me pull together a whole group of keywords that are really gonna be targeted all together. 
uh, not only on one specific page, but also we are really building out a content strategy to target multiple keywords. So that is why when you see this, if we have, let's say, uh, daily keywords search volume of let's say about 2000 here. So see, we are still, even if we have to change these numbers, lower it, um, lower the lead conversion, the numbers still will show you how much per day based on that ranking. So that's where you can start looking at the competition. Well, how likely is it that I'm going to be able to rank in position, you know, let's say six versus position one. So what tends to happen is you look at the value of what can I get for the business now relatively quickly and what kind of keywords can we develop we, or what kind of group of keywords strategy can we develop here and work to rank for those. Now what happens is as you are ranking for these pages, as they have spent more and more time, they're getting more and more visitors, they start to rank for other long-term keywords as well, which means that when you have a baseline for what kind of revenue you can bring in for a business, it starts to increase over time. So ideally what I would put in here is start to make this a, a group of keywords here. And down the bottom, if I have one tab, I'm gonna start to duplicate that tab and I'm gonna start to look at the different pages, the different posts that we are creating for the particular business, what we're targeting for each, and then look at, well, what does that mean? How much revenue can we start bringing in per day if we can start ranking these. And we might start, of course, not ranking all of them number one across the board. Uh, we can look at realistically, if we're ranked a little bit lower, what kind of revenue are we gonna be bringing in? But as we continue to work on that over the next six months, 12 months, 24 months, how is that going to increase? How are we gonna increase our ranking? And then also looking at how are we able to even do anything with the profit margin? That's usually one that uh, the business is gonna have the full control over that and they may or may not be able to do too much about that, but that's something that they can see. Hey, if I can find a way to increase my profit margin, well, that's gonna help me here. But more so what you're gonna be looking at with these businesses is lead conversion, sales conversion and and seeing how can I help them convert more of the visitors. So let's say they're really low. Let's say they're, you know, getting 3% conversion. Well, let's look at those landing pages that they have. Let's look at the offers that they have. Do we need to get a copywriter in here looking at this and how can we get that up to 15%? How can we increase the more people who are taking the action on the website that we want them to? And then the sales process. How can we either as us as the digital marketer help advise them to what they could be doing better? Can we get their salespeople into sales training if we don't have so much control of it because it's based on phone calls that the, the business actually takes? Um, or is there something that we can be doing on the website to help it better con convert? Do we need an email series? Do we need to test out different offers and see which one converts better so we can slowly start to increase that sales rate? Because what if we could uh, increase it to 20% from 10? Well, that is a significant increase in the revenue that is coming in for that business. So this is a pretty neat a tool here, I think it really helps to demonstrate how you can actually determine what's possible in terms of revenue coming in from your work with a potential client. So I hope that this is helpful. You can grab a copy of that down below in the description. If you have questions about this, how to use it, anything like that, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.